Okay, so the user ecant2200 asked me to do a video on more terminal tricks, like commands and stuff like that. So, I'm going to do another. This is going to be my last one, though, because this is literally the last thing that I know besides, like, stuff that's not really cool. So, yeah. So, first I'm going to show you how to... Hi, Desi. How to change some stuff in Terminal, which Roman has a video on this, because I, I actually asked him how to do that at first when I first started watching his videos, but I'll do one in case you've never heard of him or in case you're not subscribed to him, but if you're not, then you should. Okay. So, as you can see here, I have like a blue window and this thing right here is blinking and it's a line Norm it's by default it's like a block so you're gonna go to your terminal preferences and you can choose like any of these things here if you go to window oh no here if you go to cursor you can change it like if it's a block now it's a block you can make it so it doesn't blink or so it does you can make it underline I like vertical bar and blinking. And you can change the color. You can also change the text and the font. If you go to window, you can change the background color and the transparency. So let's say I want it to be purple. Um, you can make it not transparent. You can make it a little transparent can make it completely transparent, which is kind of weird. I like it to be a little transparent. And you can change the title. So if I make it, I talk, Apple, Terminal. I don't know what that does, but I'm just going to keep it at Terminal. And I don't know what the rest does, but you can do a lot in here but don't mess around with it too much because you never know if you're like messing something up okay and then the actual trick is that you can play tetris or pong on in your terminal window so you're going to type emacs hit enter and then all this weird stuff will come up so you're going to press the escape key and then you're going to type X. And at the bottom here, it gives you this little code that says MX. Now you're going to type not capitalized Pong. And then hit enter. And it loads Pong. It's really weird though because to control the, um, you basically play against yourself. To control the the thing on the right you use the up and down keys but to control the one on the left you use the left and right keys so it gets really confusing and I'm really bad because I can't play with myself yeah okay so that's that and if you want to play Tetris, you do the same thing. You type Emacs, enter, escape, X, Tetris, and then there's Tetris. To move the shapes, you just use left and right, and to change the direction, use up and down. So, yeah. And... One more thing, I've never tried this one. Um, if you do Emacs, enter, escape, X, and then type snake.
I don't know what that does. But it does something weird. Anyways. You also asked if I can do videos, more cool applications to download, and I will, but I have a lot already, so you can look at my past videos, but I'll do new ones, because I actually found some new, cooler, like, I'm mean, just new applications that you could do. So, thanks for watching, and please comment, rate, and subscribe, and for any more suggestions that you have for videos, please, please, please give them to me, because... I'll do them right away, as you can tell. Be sure to check out Shiny Light Box, great software for Mac. A link is provided in the video description.